today we are embarking on the anthropic journey to uncover the intriguing mystery of why the incredible land of New Zealand is devoid of those slithering creatures we commonly know as snakes. Get ready for an in-depth exploration. If you didn't subscribe our channel yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button for more informative videos like this. Let's dive in. As we gaze upon these land masses on the map, we are immediately struck by its remote location. New Zealand, situated in the South Pacific, embarked on its unique evolutionary path long ago. Millions of years ago, the land masses that would become New Zealand began its voyage, drifting away from the supercontinent Gondwana. This isolation from the larger land masses, coupled with the cooling climate of the southern regions, set the stage for a remarkable story. During this isolation period, the lack of suitable land bridges and rafting events meant that land animals, including snakes, couldn't easily reach this distant paradise. Snakes' inability to travel long distances over water played a pivotal role in this unique absence. In the absence of snakes, New Zealand's ecosystem evolved in extraordinary ways. Native birds like the flightless kiwi flourished, occupying ecological niches that would have been different if snakes were present. Even the tuatara, a remarkable lizard-like creatures, thrived without the pressure from snakes predators. Fast forward to human settlement. When people arrived in New Zealand, they brought with them a variety of animals, but no snakes. This introduced a dynamic shift in the ecosystem. Birds and other animals, naive to snakes predators, exhibited behaviors and traits distinct from those in regions where snakes are present. Now, what about sea snakes? While these aquatic reptiles are found in nearby waters, New Zealand's cooler oceanic conditions deter them from venturing close to its shores. This too contributes to the absence of snakes on land. To delve deeper into this topic, we spoke with experts in the field of evolutionary biology. They emphasized how the absence of snakes in New Zealand showcases the power of isolation in shaping the course of evolution. But the absence of snakes isn't without its challenges. Introduced predators such as rats and stouts have wreaked havoc on native wildlife that never evolved defenses against such threats. Conservationists are working tirelessly to protect those unique creatures and restore the delicate balance disrupted by human activities. In conclusion, the captivating story of why there are no snakes in New Zealand is one of geographic isolation evolutionary adaptation, and the intricate web of nature's delicate dance. It's a testament to power of isolation in shaping the destiny of ecosystems. So, as you revel in the natural wonders of this incredible land, remember that every creature, on in this case, the absence of one has tale to tell. If you have enjoyed this deep dive into the enigmatic world of New Zealand's ecology, be sure to give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more captivating exploration. Until next time, keep your curiosity alive and your sense of wonder ignited.